clearly I'm getting nowhere because you guys would rather have like this $2,000 for my contract than have me be alive as a student. A local NDSU student reached out to our whistleblower hotline after she says her request to break her housing contract due to her severe anxiety and depression was denied. She says her doctor ordered her that she not live on campus or alone. Yet officials in the disability center that said that the woman wouldn't get her $2,000 refund and even recommended that she live in a unit by herself. Valley News Team's crime and safety reporter Bailey Hurley talked with a woman today who says she feels like she's been swept under the rug and wants answers. For Christina Keurig, it's been a long uphill battle with her anxiety and depression. But she says her living environment at her on-campus apartment only made her mental health worse, taking action to get out of her housing contract. And I got to the point where it just wasn't okay anymore. And so I tried to get away from the situation and try to help my mental health. NDSU's disability services told Keurig she'd have to get a doctor's note proving her claims. And the doctor's orders came back doing just that. Residence hall life is not for me. Um, it's affecting my mental health issues. I shouldn't be there. Like he said that multiple times. Making Keurig feel like she was in the clear, hoping for a speedy approval process with administration. I was like pretty like positive, like, oh, something good will come out of this. But a few days later, all that hope came crashing down. Disability services said they felt it was more of a roommate issue than her mental health, suggesting maybe Keurig live by herself. So they didn't listen to medical advice, and then they would put me in the single room if I was to do anything. Wouldn't that fall back on the college then? It almost seemed like you want a paycheck more than this life, like you cared more about the money and the breach of contract more than this life. Soul Singh has been the support system and place of refuge for Keurig the last few weeks. She says she couldn't believe NDSU suggested that a person with severe depression live by themselves. I was just thinking about all the people that commit suicide every year. If she didn't have that support system, she would have fell through the cracks. She would have accepted that offer because it was easier and she would have done that, and then she could have sank. And although Keurig is still shaken up, she doesn't want anyone else to be pushed aside, saying she hopes mental health is taken more seriously at NDSU. In Fargo, Bailey Hurley, Valley News Live. We reached out to NDSU, but they did not have a comment. Keurig says she already moved out of her on-campus apartment and isn't sure if she'll return to NDSU after the semester. If you need help with an issue in your community, call our whistleblower hotline and we'll do our best to get to the bottom of it.